Why hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pandu, welcome back to another video. So, Chantal went live earlier today, and the live is called, I have a new friend with a few emojis, and I just need to show you guys the thumbnail. This is it, this is public, she posted this herself. Um, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, I, I honestly wish I could, like, be there whenever she's editing this, like, this and that, because, girl, there's no way that's unedited. She looks at that and she goes, oh my god, that looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Anyways, oh, <laughs> oh God. with that being said, though, I guess let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? Where did I put my lip gloss? Well, I don't know where it is. Damn, is that flavor flavor so good? If you guys don't know that, maybe don't look it up because you will probably traumatize. Yes, I'm so hungry. I need some food. I haven't had dinner, so I'm gonna heat up my dinner soon. Hi, sweet love. Sweetest love of the 10th degree. And you are my love too, baby girl. SB, she gave me full permission to post that, so. And people found Stabby because of a drawing, ma'am. Why she hasn't learned her lesson yet? Couldn't tell ya. Thank you, M Bean. I have dinner late because, well, I was out and, um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I usually am up late, but today I woke up like at 6.45. I plan on keeping my friendship, you know, my new friendships private. I don't know, the way that she stumbled on friendships and then change it to new friend. I don't know. I don't, just, it's a spish. It's the little things you have to look out for. I just want to say, <laughs> um, and uh, this person is amazing in like every way. Like I, I've never met somebody so nice in my entire, um, in my entire life. Like, honestly, like, I don't know. <laughs> like just such a nice, nice, nice person. Like, I don't know. So we just went to a cafe and, um, yeah, I was just like, wow, I felt like spoiled. I'm like a princess, like just completely spoiled, you know? And um, yeah, she brought me flowers and I was like, wow. And she just, you know, very, very loving person, very loving person, very nice, very caring, um, had some really nice conversation. So yes, if you're watching, thank you so much for a special night and you are very sweet. And uh, yeah, it's not, I've never met, I've never met somebody with that energy before in my life. Like, I don't know, I I'm telling you, like, People from the Middle East, like, I'm telling you, it's a whole new level of hospitality. Um, so loving. Like, I, I just can't. <laughs> I'm not going to say, like, where she's from, where I met her, blah, blah, blah. That's, I'm going to keep all that private. But, um, yeah, I have a new friend, you know. Um, I went on a date, a friend date, yeah. Wonderful. So this is going to be her new personality for the next, like, few days, if not week. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I, I was taken aback. It's so, it's so nice to have... I guess um, white flowers are for friendship, right? I don't know. Ooh, just so amazing. Like, honestly, I had the nicest, nicest time. Spent a couple hours, like, just talking and, you know? Yeah. Her teeth are very white. Yeah, she's very gorgeous. Very cute. Yes, she speaks English. So, yeah, she's she's just really, really nice. And um, that's a... Yeah, I had a really nice time. I'm sure some of you were probably curious about, you know, beautiful fat flowers. Yeah. Yeah, somebody, you know, just very caring and just so nice. Like, I can't... I can't explain it. Good to have some girlfriends, yes. It says the woman that has been so defiant and being like, I don't need friends. I don't want hobbies. I just want to eat. Like, oh, now magically she meets one person. Oh my gosh, she's absolutely amazing and wonderful and perfect in every single way that you can ever imagine that person. Which might be true, but still. I don't need to have a lot of friends, but even just having one here, a good one. And, uh, you know, thank you, Rashu. Actually, I like, just people are just so kind. Like, I had such a good time because, like, you know, we went walking around um, a bit and I went to the washroom and this, um, this other woman, another hijabi lady, I was walking out and she went, mashallah, you are so beautiful. And I was just like, wow, thank you. And then when we were leaving, um, another woman, she talked to me in Arabic, but I didn't speak Arabic. So, you know, my friend interpreted what she said and she was like, you are so beautiful. And I'm just like, what? These people are so nice. Oh my gosh. Hey, Olga. Yeah, she's very, very, very gorgeous uh, on the outside, but her heart is larger than her whole being. Like, she's so amazing. Wonderful person, honestly. Chantal also has that, but not in the same way, unfortunately. Sorry, I had to. I had to. That was the only joke I can think of. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Continuing on. Thanks, babe. And she knows all my, my lore, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I feel like she's definitely going to be regretting saying that. I honestly think it's because people are so cruel to you online that normal people seem very sweet to you. Maybe SB, but she just, yeah, like, this is this, like, this is not normal. Like, I've never had a friend of even, like, a million years treat me this way, you know? <laughs> like, she's, I, I don't know. Do you hear that? 
I can hear Pete screaming all the way from Canada from here. But I'm keeping my friendship offline. <laughs> and we're just, you know, just wanted to let you guys know that, yeah, I made a friend. Because you guys are always saying, you know. So she made a friend out of spite and posted the picture just to prove the haters wrong. I mean, if you want to, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, nobody, nobody wants to be my friend. But, um... No, here's the thing. People tried to be your friend, and then you burned every single bridge that you have ever met. <laughs> every single person that you have ever met, minus your husband and this woman so far. Like, permanent burnt bridges, never, like, unrecoverable friendships. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I did really enjoy myself, and it was very nice. And flowers. <laughs> I saw this, like, really pretty girl, uh, woman with flowers, and I was, like, waiting, you know, and then, Yeah. I was like, are those for me? <laughs> honestly, it makes, I don't know. I'm, I'm honestly really glad I, I went. Justine, I'm just keeping like things like that private for now. And just, uh, yeah. I just wanted to share with you that I'm mostly sharing it not to be like, haha, I have a friend. Like, huh? Girl, you literally, not even five minutes ago in this video, it's been a lot longer than five minutes because she was talking about food. No, thank you. But she was saying like, yeah, because you guys were always saying that like, I don't go out. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not because, uh, not to brag or whatever. Girl, that was the whole entire reason why you met her to begin with and posted her picture to prove the haters wrong. I do have some friends, but I just did it because I wanted to like express how amazing this person is. Like I've never in my life met some, like met a friend, a girlfriend who has been so caring, loving, just like, I can't explain it. Do you guys know what I mean? Like she's, I don't know. Are you feeling better today? Yeah. Yeah. I did my treadmill already this morning. It set me up for, you know, a good day. I feel like so she sounds, she is magical. Yeah. Like for sure. Thank you, Linoa. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I told her what beezing means. Okay, question. What version of herself did she sell to this woman? Because I, I was just like, she really knows about her past, but then I forget every single time Chantal tries to list off the things that she's done. It's been like super watered down, super one-sided. She's never done anything wrong. It's always the haters on the internet. She's completely innocent. I completely forgot about that. I bet you that's the version of herself that she sold to that lady. I cooked before I went out. I was, um, I had a very productive day. I woke up. And I went on the treadmill before eating, which I showed in my vlog, then my breakfast, and then... Which again, I'm gonna say it, like, <laughs> I can turn on my treadmill too, make it go for 15 minutes of, you know, get on for a few seconds walking, be like, guys, well, look, I walk for 15 minutes, girl, uh-uh. Nope, unless if it's on live stream, I am not believing in a single second of that. So yeah, and then I um, had lunch at some point, which was, I took a picture of it. I had Brussels sprouts and I tried no butter, it was fine. I just had a little bit of sea salt. I had a tuna. Sandwich on multigrain with one tablespoon of mayo. Um, I cooked. And then I had um, one baby bell cheese and one packet of crisps of chips for the sandwich. I love having chips with my sandwich. Anyway, you should see the amount of chips in that bag. It's like this many, like 70 calories, 73 calories. Okay, sounds like a personal problem. So then what else did I have? That's it for my lunch. That filled me up until like now, I'm starting to feel hungry. And then, um, you know, I had a cappuccino when we went out and she bought me this little set of like little little like peanut butter cookies or something and um they were so good and then i had one and so far it came with three and um what else did i have oh yeah so i made so i made my lunch laundry cleaned the kitchen floor did the dishes um and then uh clean the living room up the table was cluttered and then um what else did i get oh so then i made butter chicken and rice and then I laid down because I was kind of tired because I'm switching my sleep pattern around and I woke up so freaking early. Um, yeah. Oh no, watch, she's gonna climb the chair. Hi, Bay. Hi, Bay. Here. Oh. Yeah, I gave one to sold off because. But these are the cookies, basically. It's like chocolate peanut butter bites or something. It's supposed to be like lower in sugar, too. You know how cafes have some like health desserts and um yeah so i'm giving one to salah came in this box <laughs> great job showing unique identifiable packaging from the cafe so yeah i had that cappuccino some water thanks babe here you go i'm so glad that you enjoyed your time babe <laughs> yeah thank you it was so awesome um i have uh i cooked butter chicken do you want some oh nice yeah maybe after you finish okay yeah Enjoy your meal. <laughs> thanks babe oh it's well it's still in the work i'm still working on my health H-Alt, yeah. 
I don't know. I'm just ignoring, you know. Yeah, that's it. If you, um, that's my new motto, what I'm trying to do. If you want my attention and you, you know, it's negative energy you're giving to me, you can keep it. And people can just believe whatever they want about me now. I don't care. But I think somebody's been trying to get, like, I blocked her everywhere in her email because she was sending me emails. Like, really weird. I don't know. And then I think she made another account or sent from another account was sending me really, really weird emails, like, um, accusing me of, like, coming after her kids and, like, really paranoid sounding emails. I don't think she's okay. So I'm just not engaging. That's it. You know? <laughs> oh, they already posted your thumbnail. <laughs> I'm not surprised, Lizzie. They're a little obsessed. Yeah, we're so jealous that Chantal has one friend. Where's your friend? Where's your friend with your man? Where's your friend with your man with your apartment? I don't see him. <laughs> Please. Also, on top of that, I feel like people are pointing this out more than anything else. Yeah, Sarah. Yeah, I'm so much happier ignoring it. You see how I am? You know, I know you guys like when I rage, but no, thanks. As locals know when someone is abusing the system and you're not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right? Like, everyone has a right to healthcare when they need it. Like, no matter what you suffer from, you know? Well, do you mind sending that message down south to your neighbors? <laughs> So I'm doing my, my stream earlier because I'm just so tired and I'm hopefully going to go to bed at a decent hour. I went down that rabbit hole with the world of t-shirts guy. Thinks he's a singer. He... This is the woman that thinks that she's an influencer and also a celebrity and also like a weight loss professional. Ma'am. That and also tries to pretend that she's happily married. Ma'am, we can see you. <laughs> like he just does covers, like stupid covers of other songs. This is the woman that literally has parody songs on her YouTube channel as we speak. Babe, I'm going to, uh, when I get off, I'll warm up your dinner. If you want it now, let me know, okay? Pepsi Zero. Baby Bell Cheese. Oh. Fresh cream. Dacus. I mean, Macus. I always do that. The 20th. Do you think it's still good? It smells good. <laughs> Expired the 20th. Whatever. Honestly, I feel happy. Like, I feel happy that I've met good people because I think, like SB said, I'm so used to, like, being surrounded by, like, only in the online world and it's mostly like other you guys make it worthwhile but i'm surrounded by like a lot of hate and negativity you know so i'm trying to surround myself with loving people and sometimes when you live your whole life online you forget you know and honestly that made me a bit skeptical and i even said this like because i'm so used to being betrayed by people online <laughs> and just you learned you, you kind of don't realize it but you just kind of become more jaded and you don't trust people you know you don't know what people's intentions are. You know, be poetic. I try not to let it make me jaded, you know, but you too, Otter League. Let them prove yourself first. <laughs> yeah, no, I had a really wonderful day. And I, in you know how you have like instincts? With some people, no, my instincts don't work. But I just got a really good vibe, you know? Very loving vibe. <sighs> I mean, I've never had a friend. The only person who's ever brought me flowers, honestly, Salah. Yeah, what about ruining their entire credit just so that way you can have a place to live? Pete's, I know he is screaming right now. So to have really beautiful friendship flowers, that's really amazing. I gotta put them in a vase, a vase, and keep them up in case the cat. The same people who don't like me for my opinion are the same people leaving like super hateful comments like in favor, you know what I mean? With the opposite opinion. So it's like, if you can voice your opinion, so can everyone else, you know? Very long and lightweight. Yeah, there's some really nice, beautiful ones. But did you know, some people will argue, some people are very, you know, have, some people have the opinion that the whole purpose of hijab is to hide beauty. So a lot of people don't like when the hijab is beautified. You know, it's not supposed to be like a fashion statement beauty thing. <laughs> but I mean, we're women. It's hard to, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> it's not our fault if the hijab looks nice, you know. <laughs> Even if you wear a niqab, if you have gorgeous eyes naturally, you know. Yeah, exactly. Hijab is meant to be like an anti-fashion thing. Yeah, and it's supposed to be very loose fitting. And, and in modern times, you know, like this is even kind of, you know, uh, there's like butterfly bias, they're very form fitting and stuff like that. Yeah, it should be a choice, right? And it's some um, people disagree. There's people who think that it's ordained, like it's, it's mandatory according to Islam. And then there's people who don't. I don't believe that it is, but that's my opinion. Um, you found my channel through a hate channel. Found my channel through a hate channel? The disgusting smoker voice. There's a few. Which one? <laughs> Thank you, fella. I, I don't understand the drama. Honestly, SB, I don't either. I really don't know why there's drama. I really just bees and live my life. I don't get it. You know, I don't know why there's drama about me. Like how I how I look, how I cross the streets. Um, I don't know. 
I would just say like a lot of you would be surprised with how many reverts even you know people who were raised Muslim women who were raised Muslim have trouble wearing the hijab so they from what I understand like you know you can just pray to Allah and ask him you know about like having strength to wear the hijab but it's up to you it's your choice and it's not if you want to ease into it you know there isn't drama about you they make it up and they use your past because they wouldn't have a channel yeah I think so Bailey you're right Again, like I said, she sold a very watered down, like super <laughs> squeaky clean image of herself. Oh, good lordy, lady. Uh uh. Nope. It's no one's job to judge anyone other than Allah because you only see, you know, you see the person from the outside, but only God knows what's in your heart, your intentions. You know what I mean? Like, well, not everybody believes in a higher power. You don't have to be um, accountable to anyone but yourself and to God, like, honestly. Or, like, you know. No, I didn't say I was wearing it as a fashion accessory. I made a joke that the benefit, one of the benefits of wearing hijab is covering my friggin' head. But I was joking. Yeah, I don't think it was a joke. And also on top of that, she was wearing it in Canada before she ever met Slaw in person. Th th this was only on WhatsApp that she started wearing the hijab, by the way, for anybody that wasn't around during those times. And I was like a brand new Muslim at the time. No, you were out with your aunt at a mall and saw them and made that comment. Hold on, let me go. I made a video on it, thank God. Let me go get the clip. Yes. Oh my God. This is what I need, head coverings. I don't really know how to wear hijabs. Are these hijab pins? Buy a hijab? I don't know how to wear them. I need Aisha to help me. I know, I want a hijab to cover my head and my chins. That's not why I wear the hijab. That's not why. Because when you think about it, obviously it's a joke because I never used to cover my hair. I never used to cover my head. I shaved my head on stream. So how does it make sense that I would be self-conscious about my hair? Girl, what are you talking about? We had normal hats. We had wigs. We had crocheted hats. If you guys were not there for the crocheted hats, <laughs> God help you. But yeah, what do you mean you never covered up your hair? Yeah, you did. I actually used to put my hair fibers on on stream and, and sneeze and, and look like an idiot you know, bald and with fibers hanging down my forehead. Um, then I shaved my head entirely and look like a, a chubby egg. Like, when did I, wh why am I going to start put wearing a hijab just to cover my head? I don't care. You know? And if, if Allah wanted us not to wear a hijab, I would take it off. 100%. Miss the hair fibers. Chubby egg. That was an era, yeah. I used to pull turtlenecks up to my chin. Yeah, I, I think the amount of times in different ways I've shown myself online, you can't say that I'm self-conscious uh, and hide myself. As she adjusts her hijab. You know, especially people who don't ever cam up. They can't claim this. I'm sorry. You don't have that right. Oh my god, of course it's our fault. Why wouldn't it be our fault? No, no, no. Look at those other people. Don't look at me. Don't look at what I'm doing. No, of course it's a, it's the reactor's fault. It's always their girl. Please. You lost that right. Mm, unfortunately, we didn't. I love that for you. Having a new friend met in real life and having fun together will make all selection channels raging for one year. Yeah, I don't even have to look around to see what to know what people are already saying. She's not really going to meet anybody. She's not, you know, nobody will hang out with her. She can't have friends. It's like impossible for these people to think that anybody could ever like enjoy having time with me. And people, real life people, don't understand that that perspective. Honestly, genuinely, who cares? Kate, okay, great, you made a friend. Cool, have fun. But of course, in, in true Chantal fashion, she can't just enjoy it and then move on and then maybe mention it once. No, no, no. She has to make it her thumbnail. She has to make it the whole entire point of her live stream. She has to keep on about it. She has to keep comparing herself to the reactors. Girl, nobody cares that you have a friend. Kate, okay, great, enjoy it. Like, who cares? I, I, <laughs> okay, cool. No, Danielle, but hijab is, um, you know, it's, it's an order from Allah to wear hijab. Maybe not niqab, but, but it is a choice either way, but it's still, you know, in the Quran to cover. Get back on those walks. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm walking. Yeah. Actually, I'm surprised I didn't gain more, to be honest. And I think the walks have something to do with it. And it's just not overeating as much as I used to. Like, I don't order fast food. I haven't ordered fast food since Thailand still. Like, well, I haven't. Yeah, you have to find meaning in life other than food. That's the problem. So that's what I'm doing, you know. Spiritual, being more spiritual and, and is really helping too. Bye, guys. Bye. Already she started repeating herself. So, meh, no thank you. But with that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.